Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cooking Catastrophes. Tonight, we're diving into the heart of the kitchen, a place of creation, chaos, and, let's be honest, occasional catastrophe. From the trials of following recipes to the tribulations of feeding the finicky, we're exploring the comedy that binds us in the culinary world. Bon appétit! Ever followed a recipe exactly and ended up with something that looks nothing like the picture? You measure each teaspoon with the precision of a chemist, yet somehow you've invented a new form of inedible matter. I guess the recipe forgot to mention the secret ingredient, magic. Meal prepping the art of spending your entire Sunday cooking, only to spend the rest of the week eating food that tastes increasingly like regret. It's the culinary equivalent of Groundhog Day, but at least you're healthy, right? Cooking for picky eaters is like being a contestant on a cooking show where the judges are all under the age of 10. No matter what gourmet dish you prepare, it can never compete with the gourmet allure of chicken nuggets. Have you ever started cooking only to realize halfway through that you're missing a crucial ingredient? It's like the universe is saying, let's see how creative you can get with ketchup and rice. Substituting ingredients is the culinary version of living on the edge. Who knew that baking soda and baking powder weren't interchangeable? Well, now we all do, thanks to the volcano in my oven. Recipe cooking times are the biggest work of fiction since The Lord of the Rings. Ready in 30 minutes. More like a journey to Mordor and back. Cooking and multitasking go together like oil and water. The moment you think you can handle cooking pasta while texting is the moment you realize you're also skilled at creating kitchen fires. Ever gone to three different stores for that one special ingredient? You return home triumphant, only to find out it was in your pantry all along. The real journey was the friends we made along the way to the grocery store. Kitchen gadgets. Because who doesn't need a banana slicer? Until you realize it's just taking up space, and your knife was already doing a perfectly good job. But hey, it looked cool in the store. Watching cooking shows is a form of masochism. You know you'll never make that dish, but you'll sure fantasize about it while eating your microwaved meal. It's the culinary dream versus the reheated reality. And that, my friends, is the savory saga of our cooking catastrophes. Whether we're culinary geniuses or kitchen klutzes, it's these moments of mayhem that bring us together laughing all the way to the takeout menu. Here's to our shared kitchen calamities. May they always remind us to keep our humor on the boil.